Yo, brother man, how you doing? Yo, what's up, man? I'm good. I'm good. Finally. I've been trying to have some time with you, man. Nah, nah, I feel you, bro. Uh, yeah. Let's get straight to it. Yeah, man. Uh, where are you right now, musically, with the sound? I see you dropped a track like 10 days ago. Um, but uh, you've been promising us to drop, you know, Heartbreak Hotel for such a long time. You still hasn't dropped yet. <laughs> Yeah, man. Uh, I'm not gonna lie. Like real life happened, man. Um, yeah. So, so basically, when I was working on Heartbreak Hotel, throughout that process, um, I ended up losing a lot of friends to either accidents or suicide. Um, yeah. And at that point as well, my my mother she got uh, diagnosed with a, a brain tumor. She'd been carrying it for about 10 plus years, didn't even know, almost on the brink of death. Oh my God. So, right now, where I'm at, man, like, I decided that, yo, if I'm making this album, and by the way, shout out to all my fans. I see all my fans out there. I love you, every single one of y'all. Um, right yeah. now, where I'm at, basically making this album, uh, I'm trying to, I'm trying to, to, to put together uh, a story that sort of, illustrates you know what i'm saying like what i'm really going yeah. through right now flo jones shout out, shout out flo jones but yeah that's what's happening right now bro that's what my sound is like oh man i'm sorry about your mother so how many songs have you worked on so far you know can you give us maybe some list of some featured artists um yo online man like a couple yeah. of days ago i bagged some crazy features <laughs> <laughs> yeah tell us about that like, uh, I, I really can't say, <laughs> but I begged an insane feature. I begged an insane feature, uh, and, I, and I'm ready to just, you know, uh, put out as much work as I can. I've got, I've got like, most of the album done right now. I'm actually going into the final stages. Um, I was actually thinking of making it a, a double album. You know what I'm saying? Oh, yeah. So, yeah, that's, that's really what I want to do. I want to give my fans uh, the album, because I called it uh, Better Late Than Never. Because I mean, yeah. how long have I been holding this album now? Now it's just like, okay, yeah. now I gotta give something. So it just felt like Better Late Than Never is actually the perfect title. But yeah, I got like a lot of tracks done. Shout out to Saruno. Shout out to, yo, I got all my peoples here, man. Shout out to Saruno. Shout out to Mandlin. Shout out to, shout out to Nikisha. Uh, shout out to yeah. Hard Demis- them. Yeah. So you, you, you started your own label, I think, last year, or you announced it last year around 2021. You know, yeah. almost two years later, do you still feel like, you know, being independent is like the thing? Yeah, well, to be honest with you, I'm, I'm not going to lie. Like, it's it's not an easy thing, but I feel as though the time that I'm working on, the time frame that I'm working on and, and, and the music that I'm working on, it feels like it's the yeah. perfect storm. You know what I'm saying? Um, I get you. For me to be able to, to control everything that I do, for me to be mm-hmm. able to as well like have an input in where my career goes um it i feel like i've i've gained a lot of perspective from it um mm. and i i'm just really excited because i also want to be able to put myself in a position where i'm able to bring other artists on board so we can create you know oh yeah so speaking about that you mentioned something about some legal action taken about your previous album your previous label how far did that go um yo i'm not going to lie now yeah. Like it, it, it became a very messy situation because to this day, like there's there's been a lot of time and a lot of money lost, you know, and um like we I ended up getting out of the contract. It was a very tough situation, I'm not gonna lie. Like it was very tough to the point where like uh I couldn't even do anything. I couldn't like drop anything, I couldn't like do nothing. Um Mm. But yeah, like we 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 sorted the situation to that to that degree. But I'm still going back for all my shit because I'm not I'm not just gonna chill and let that shit happen, you know. Yeah. So at this point, do you think we have a date for Heartbreak Hotel? October. But no, oh. not Heartbreak. The album, the album, a better late than never. No. I might even. So 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 you know what? Now that you speak about Heartbreak Hotel. I might as yeah. well just say it now. <laughs> I might as well just say it yeah. now. Um, to, my, to all my fans, if you're listening, 
I'm still going to drop Heartbreak Hotel. It's going to be within the double album. Oh, yeah. Makes so, sense. I will I will be able to get my shit off. Like, But just know that Heartbreak Hotel is also going to drop in October within the double album. Yeah. So, speaking about Heartbreak Hotel, how did it go with uh, Fora, the American guy? I know he also had the same name. <laughs> but, you know, although you guys had some sort of uh, mess there, you seem keen on like working with you or something like that because i also saw a tweet about you know him wanting to come to south africa and all that have you guys ever yeah. like talked outside of that uh tweet, i think no honestly no i think we just we just you know moved on with our lives uh and you know it is what it is like it's more of like hey i'll see you out there you know oh yeah but at least the energy is dope though so yeah no, speaking about been... yeah so last question, uh, with regards to the sound, you know, this is based on uh, statistical facts right now. Because I see that a lot of guys that are incorporating a lot of uh, vernacular in the music are sort of getting, you know, a bit more numbers. So will we ever see you do some sort of vernacular or something like that in your music? Um, your timing is crazy. <laughs> <laughs> what? So you have some. Like you peeping out my window right now. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm just seeing what's happening with the streets, you know. Um, a lot of guys are incorporating a lot of the neck. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, yeah. Nah, like, I'm, I'm definitely, I'm definitely, um, you know, I'm, I'm dabbling here and there. I don't want to, I don't want to do it to, to compromise my sound. I want to do yeah. it more to elevate it. You know what I'm saying? Like, I, I'm, it's, it's like... I, I want to show, like, hey, I, I can still, I can still hang in there. You know what I'm saying? Like, oh I'm yeah, here. I get you. Yeah, yeah, I get you, bro. Yeah. Anyways, man, thank you for making time for me, man. Those are all the questions I have for you, bro. That's yeah. it. <laughs> I just, you know, I, I wanted to ask this other one, but you know, I don't want to ruin the vibe. You know, uh, Jay Molly, because you know, I, I thought maybe what you would want to talk about that. <laughs> nah, honestly, like I don't, I don't think I'll go as 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 far as um, that. But I mean, I can I can try explain it in a more diplomatic way. You know what I'm saying? Like, uh, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, sure. Let's go. What do you want to ask? So, I, I watched an interview where he was talking about how this whole thing came about, and he was talking about how you created propaganda get around it because he said. You sort of gave him the go 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 ahead to say no. I'm gonna do one, two, three. But you sort of made this seem as if it's real beef, and you even unfollowed him. It was on this uh, skip on or something on YouTube. I made it seem like it was, and I saw that interview, man. And I just gotta yeah. say something. I said they in disbelief, bro. I said yeah. they in disbelief. So the beef is real. Listen now, I don't beef with niggas. Niggas beef with me. Yeah. Let's get that straight. <laughs> let's get that, that. Let's get that one straight. I'm. I'm getting a call. Um. Let me just. Oh. Okay. I get you. Oh, okay, I get you. Let's hope we we'll be back soon. Um. Let me see. Yo, we out here. Yo, yo, yo. Yeah, I'm still out here. Sorry about that. Yeah. Yeah. Um. Man, like, wh- when was it? Two two years ago, right? That yeah. interview, two years ago, no? Yeah, I think it's two years, twenty twenty. Yeah. And I saw that shit. <laughs> I saw that shit. I was like, hmm. man, I, I I don't even got like a lot to say, but I'm just gonna say, like, yeah, I wouldn't go out of my way to start beef with people that I actually fucked with. Like, I, I if I hit you up. Now, if I hit you up and I tell you, yeah. this is what I'm going to say. I told Muesli exactly what I said. She was yeah. cool. She was cool, she you was... know? She was like, yo, yeah. I told this man what I was going to say. It was cool. We were even like like this. You see the way we are right now? Face to face on a phone call? Yeah. Like type shit. Like that's what it was. You feel me? And yeah. and we even talked like way after that. You feel me? So now when I'm hearing all this shit, I'm like, man, like, what is this? kind of nonsense is this because i'm like yo listen now and i'll tell you now if someone is going out of their way to actively mm. talk okay. shit 
yeah. then they're hiding something. Mm. Then they're hiding hey, something. Yeah, what's up? Yeah, so would you ever fight him on a boxing match? Fuck no. Why would I Let's do that? Suppose. I'm not a fighter, bro. <laughs> oh, you so wouldn't no, do that. Oh, yeah. I really wouldn't, dog. Because, like, okay. yo, listen, now, I'm saying it out loud. Like, I'm saying that out loud, bro. Like, I'm not... I'm not with the shits like that, bro. You see this? See this right here? That's my game. Yeah. I could go all day. I could, I could, I could, I could go all year with this shit. Like here, I was never built like this, bro. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna front. You know what I'm saying? I'm a lover, not a fighter. But at the yeah. same time, don't piss me off because I could go for your head. Fact. Anything uh, else? All right, all right. Nah, 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 bro. Thank you for making you time. Do don't you even cool, worry bro. about it, brother. Nah, okay, but shout out yeah. to everybody. I want to shout out to, to all my fans. Um, by the way, I'm dropping a new single next month. Mm, let me not let me not even say new single, new video. New, new video. video. Oh. There we go. And yes, my Facebook page is hacked, guys. Yeah, that part. But yeah, <laughs> um, new video for Sharpshooter is coming out. And then uh I wanna like I wanna put out uh, a few more things, but just know that I'm gonna be much more active building to october because october is like you know game day that's what we do all right man. yeah good luck with that, out, thanks yeah, for having me John. and a huge a, a huge fan of your channel man huge fan of your thank channel. thank you for that bro thank you thank you all right now shout out guys hey I, every single one of y'all on this live thank you for supporting me thank you for still being out there and yes i said a music video for sharpshooter i'm actually shooting um next week but yeah i love y'all all right, peace, bro.